on another fishing adventure with Fisherman Stan. Tomorrow is the opening day of salmon season, so I came to visit some family. Driving down the road looking for some trout. This is a long, boring drive, and I could have sworn I've seen some monsters in here. And uh, it's a pretty small bit of water. I took one cast and I just caught a brook trout about 10 inches, so I'm gonna fish here for a while. I think there's some hogs. <laughs> Look at this water exploding. Let's see what we get. From what I can tell you, there's a really nice brookie in here. Uh, I keep seeing one. Uh, he's not surfacing. He's kind of, well, I see him surfacing. It's almost like he's chasing some of the small trout in here. He's making a big V through the water. I've uh, caught a few trout here around, you know, 8 and 10 inches, but really fat. So I got a feeling there is going to be a really nice brookie. Uh, hide in here. I'm gonna give this a good two hours because this could be my next two pounder. I've already got two two pound brookies so far this season. The record's two and a half pounds. Let's see if we can keep pushing that. Oh and the bugs are biting a little better than the fish so I'm gonna go get my bug net on. Well I've only been fishing here for about ten minutes. I don't think I've got the biggest brookie out of here yet. Like I've seen him, I've seen him moving. He's gotta be at least like a 14 inch fish, but I kept these four so far. And look at that. That's a good pound. Those are all pretty nice sized fish. <laughs> Hopefully I can get the monster. Oh man, they're still going nuts here. So I got tired of using the beetle. I decided to switch up and I put on a really weird big foam frog that I made. And look at this. First cast, didn't even make it out there. It took uh, almost about two minutes to get him in. He was a strong fighter. Just smashed that frog. That fish is 12 inches on the dot and chubby. So let's see if we can get another one. Whoa. All right, so the wind's picked up a bit. I'm still fishing this frog pattern, and uh, I'm not getting any of the small fish rising anymore, but I'm getting these big Vs in the water from the bigger fish following it. So far, I've uh, taken a few more that were bigger than the first one. I got that really nice one I showed you guys that was 12 inches on the frog, but I just had, I just had the big one. I, I seen a little rise, I threw the frog right on top of it and twitched it and he came fully out of the water. This fish is probably, he looked like, I'll under exaggerate it, but he was at least 14 inches, probably 15 and going on 3 pounds. I'm hoping I can hook him and show you guys, so. Well, it's round two. I'm on my way back after the weekend. I'm stopping at that same spot where I uh, spotted that trophy brookie in here. Last time I stung him, he came up for my fly. I just hooked him and he shook himself free right away. After that, I fished here for two hours and could not get him to take on any fly. I could see the V going through the water as he kind of lurked around, but you know, I hooked a lot of other nice fish, 10 and 12 inches. The warden was pretty freaked out, but never got that big guy. I'm really hoping he's still here. I'm gonna give this a little bit of time, you know, Hoping anything in general is here. <laughs> but I guess we're about to find out. Here's open. I decided to start off with my own mouse pattern. So if that big one's there, you know, hopefully some of the smaller ones will ignore this and I can just kind of target him to take a whack at that. Let's give her a go. I decided I'm not giving up on this fish, not yet. <laughs> I threw that mouse out from the bank over there, had a good boil at it, but the wind's coming strong from over here. It isn't right now, but it turns on and off. So I just hiked around here, crossed the brook, came over here, and I'm going to fish my way up the shore. And then he's in that little, he's in this little hidden away corner over there. That's where I always see that big one come up. Here's the water running in, if you can believe that. That little trickle, and then a tiny little brook trickling over there. Unreal for the size of fish in here. 
to you guys, maybe 10 and 12 inch brookies aren't big, but 10 and 12 inch native brookies that haven't been stocked and spawned on their own, yeah, that is big. <laughs> I don't know if this is the trophy I've been searching for. 12 inches in fat. He took that mouse right away as soon as I threw it over there. I'm gonna keep this guy for my neighbor. Nice.